Hey YouTubers, Grimmy Dragon back again for another run of the uh, Transformers Hasbro Asia Combiner Wars sticker sheet for Motor Man um Manasaur and Superion. Now in the last episode we finished up with Superion and now we're going into Manasaur's group, the Stunticons. So we're going to actually get started with Breakdown. And the interesting thing about Breakdown is that all his stickers really just affect his vehicle mode. So we got to transform him before we can even get started. So let's get to it. Yeah, it's interesting. I should have probably just transformed them before I even got on camera, but... Well, silly me for forgetting. This isn't too hard, though. Okay. In fact, let's see, we're close to done with the transformation. If some pieces will cooperate with me. Now, Breakdown may be one of the weaker of the Stunicons just because of the way his hips work. And I don't think they were engineered well. Okay. But yeah, we got breakdown mostly in his vehicle mode. Um, that part that's open is open for a reason. Because there's actually stickers that go within it. And those are the stickers we're doing first. Now this is another one that's going to have... Uh, some interference with the Repro Label set if you're planning to get that set. Just due to the fact that... Oh. Yeah, I probably set it too low. Just simply due to the fact that um, there is some inner decals that are from the Repro Label set that go right in this spot. Uh, that are... <laughs> Designed to look more like a windshield, or like a what's in the car. So if you get the repro label set and end up getting this set too, you're going to have to make some decisions on what you want to go in there. Since I don't have the repro label set yet, I don't have to worry about that right now. Until the day comes, hopefully the day comes. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if that is going to be coming along that I can get those. But here you go. It's a nice little internal detail, which is covered up very promptly. Next up, we'll be on the spoiler. Tell. I'm trying to get this as close to the seam as I can without crossing over it. Because I don't want to leave something that will cause a problem. Yeah, that goes right there. And it is an unusual thing to leave on the seam. Oops. And I hope I got these on right. Like, they seem to fit. But the way that those vents are going, it's a little unusual. 
So I may have gotten this wrong. They probably should have flipped them over or something, but they work. I'm happy with it. Okay, not good. Oh, but the last decals. Oh, this is probably the smartest ones they've done for this set. Tail lights. They're actually giving breakdown some tail lights. Oh yeah, that's nice. That's nice. Yeah, tail lights done. So he's all set. Looking good. Next up will be Dead End. I think Dead End has some robot mode decals to apply. Yes, he does. So let's get to it. So we're starting off with uh, 23, which go on his arms. Mm. These are nice. I like these already. It's going to be kind of tricky because they're kind of intricate, but... Okay... Okay, there we go. Trying to get that on there. Looks good. Looks good. Okay, and on the next arm. It's like a glove. <laughs> nice. And that really does add something to them. Real stylish. I like it. Okay, 24. A single. And it's in one of those more uncomfortable places. Ah, oh boy, why do they make it? Put stickers here. Something nice to put it on. There we go. Yeah, I know. It's one of the oddest places to put a sticker. Okay, next up. Some little decals for the feedums, just to make those toes a little more apparent. Because it really does look like he doesn't have any feet. And there we go. So he has feet stickers. Looks nice. And last but not least, these other ones are for in vehicle mode. So we gotta transform dead end. Yeah, and this is probably gonna be a common thing. Transforming a lot of these guys into their vehicle modes. Just to ensure we get everything in. And dead end's got this really nice complex transformation to him. So it's really something that I mean, 
get dead. If you only get one of them, get either Dead End or Wild Rider, since they both use this mold. Or Breakneck. I'm sorry, I keep calling him Wild Rider because that's the name I'm used to. That's the name I grew up with for him. But yeah, you get the idea. Get either Dead End or Breakneck. Wild Rider! And uh, you'll enjoy the transformation quite a bit. <laughs> okay. Now. Oh, these decals are going to be interesting. Now, I could have put these on in robot mode, but, you know. Since we're going to end up transforming most of these guys anyway. Why not just transform him first? You know. Just get it out of the way. I'm going to use a tool to get this all pressed in properly. Okay, that's one. And that does help it pop out a lot more. I'd like it. Now, so far, so good with the stickers. I, I do like them. Uh, they do uh, actually add some needed details to the figures. Because while the paint jobs are nice on these guys, they do tend to lack a little bit. Due to limits of cost, how much it costs to paint them. You know, the amount of money they put into the tooling and the design. You know, they got to tend to make sure that they are affordable for kids and collectors. You know, they have to sacrifice the paint sometimes. But these stickers really do help um, add to the look. And I do appreciate that. But yeah, dead end's all done. So we're two down, three to go for our Stunicons. And in the next episode, we're going to be working with Off-Road, the new guy, and Drag Strip. So be sure to tune in. Same grim time, same grim channel. And also be sure to like, comment, subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Take care, so long, and bye-bye.